Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm from the BTO. The British Trust for Ornithology is a charitable trust with over 90 years of expertise in bird surveying, science and research. Now I'm leading a brand new BTO survey, Kiddith Cymru, which monitors five species of raptors across Wales and which is funded by the Nature Networks programme, delivered by the Heritage Fund on behalf of Welsh Government. And today I'm here in South Wales to meet Kate McRae, our Kiddith Cymru champion. Hi Kate. Hi. Thank you so much for having me here today. It's a pleasure. Welcome to my little spot of paradise in South Wales. It's beautiful. So I'm really interested to hear, why are you so keen to take part in our project Kiddith Cymru? Well, I moved here less than two years ago now and I really want to establish myself in my new location. I'm absolutely passionate about birds. So when I saw this project come up, it was perfect because it fused my love of birds, my urge to get to know this area a little bit more. And I love the idea that it could help other people as well, get to know about the raptors in their area and the wonderful wildlife that's right on their doorstep. So Kate, are you going to be uh, using this lovely area of land as part of your survey area for Kiddith Cymru? Well, I'm really lucky to have a three acre plot here. So um, yes, part of my um, survey area will be on my own land, but I'm really close to a nature reserve. Mm. So I'm thinking I've got a couple of spots I've got for surveying there as well. That would be really interesting for our project. One of the key aims is actually to try and discover how well Wales's protected areas are performing for our raptors. So it'd be interesting to see what you discover. Well, why don't we go up to the reserve? I'll show yeah. you. Yeah, let's have a look. So Charlotte, this is the vantage point I've chosen in the nature reserve and you can see why. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect, isn't it? It gives you such a nice, clear, unobstructed view of your area from here. It does. So, so tell me, Kate, which of our five species of raptor do you see in this area? Right, so from this vantage point so far, I've seen the buzzard, the red kite, um, the raven. Haven't seen any sparrowhawks from here yet and I haven't seen um, any of the kestrels. But we don't get many kestrels in this area, I've been told, so we'll have to wait and see. So recording a zero count is actually just as valuable to us as recording positive data. Um, and the sparrowhawk, do you see that in any of your other vantage points, perhaps your garden? Yes, so the vantage point on my land, yes, I have seen sparrowhawks and I see them quite a lot in the garden. Um, but it will be really interesting to see if we can spot them here. And there's a buzzard. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So you can clearly very confidently ID the buzzard, Kate. Uh, how about the other four raptor species? Yeah, I've been keen on birds all my life. So fairly quickly, I can tell exactly which of those species it is. Um, but it's the methodology behind the surveying is something I've never done before. So I've never done, um, entered the data in the way that we're required to for the BTO, but it's a really simple process. And it's been something that I found really interesting to do. Oh, well, that's really encouraging to hear because one of the key aims of the project was to remove any barriers and make it really accessible to everybody to take part, whether they're an experienced birder or whether they're a complete beginner. Um, and that hopefully they'll feel supported in, in having all the resources they need to eventually become as proficient as you in their ID skills. So I thought I would just do my surveying as part of my daily dog walk. It's something I can easily incorporate into my everyday walk. And it'll be really interesting to see the results of, of all this data coming into you. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's data that we need critically because these five species, they're really, really under-recorded. Um, and we just simply do not know enough about them. Yeah, and I think the great thing about this is citizen science is fantastic, but it's only as good as the number of people who sign up. So we need to get as many people on board who will be monitoring um, and help us get a better understanding of how these raptors are doing in Wales. That's absolutely spot on, Kate. Okay, thank you ever so much for having me here today. It's lovely to see your survey area. And it's really great that you're taking part along with so many others that have signed up. We've been absolutely delighted by the sheer number of people who've signed up to take part in Kiddith Cymru. That's great news. 
And what I really liked was that I could actually choose my survey area. So just go on the map and highlight the area you want to choose. So you can, it's so easy to choose a place that you walk regularly anyway. Yeah, absolutely. And there are still survey areas free. So if you would like to sign up, please do visit the BTO website. That's bto.org. And under the projects page, you will find Kiddith Cymru. You can check out the map, see if your survey area is free and sign up from there.